Hello, my name is David Trumberger, and I am doing my first attempt peer-to-peer uh, -peer review for IV insertion. Um, to just kind of start before I, forget, uh, before I begin, due to COVID, I have not been able to uh, find a whole lot of lab time, so I've tried my best to recreate a lot of things at my house. So this is going to be my setup for my IV. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to start off for this skill is making sure that I gather up all my materials. Um, standard would be to grab an IV start kit or a universal IV start kit. Uh, make sure that you're grabbing the proper sized IV for the proper location site. Your solution with the IV tubing, making sure that you have plenty of gauze, a way to stabilize your IV, and then proper PPE. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is inspect my solution. So I... I'm going to look over my solution, make sure that it's the correct type, check the clarity of it, the expiration date, and that it has both of its tail port covers. Then I'm also going to check my IV tubing. I'm going to make sure that there are no kinks, no, uh, no twists. I'm also going to make sure that the clamp is, or the flow clamp is closed and that it's, uh, as close to the fill chamber as it can, and that it also has both of its tail port covers. Okay, next what I'm going to do is put on proper PPE. Okay, I'm going to grab my solution, remove the tail port cover, then going to spike my bag. Fill my bag up, or my fill chamber about halfway. Then I'm going to make sure that all the air is out of it. Okay. Hang my IV bag, set aside for later. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to my patient that we are going to be starting an IV on them. Um, so you're going to feel a tight band go around your arm, and then you're going to feel a slight stick. So I'm going to take my Coban tourniquet that I made. I'm going to kind of eyeball where I think would be a good vein site. Then normally I would want to go at least half an extremity width. Um, above the cannulation site, but on here, I am just going to practice putting it at the top of my water bottle. Make sure that I give it as some form of slip knot so I can easily pop the tourniquet whenever I'm finished. Then after uh, my tourniquet has been applied, I will ask my patient to clench their hand, make it to where uh, their veins can try and become more distended so I can be able to see them. I'll come over, palpate. Okay, once I feel a tourniquet and I feel the bounce, or sorry, once I feel the vein and I feel the bounce, I will choose that as my area. So I will clean my site, starting in from the center and going outward. Then I will grab my IV catheter, I will inspect it for burrs. Okay, then I'm going to tell my patient, all right, you're gonna feel a little stick. I'll go over, pull the skin taut. I'm going to go one, two, three, big stick with the bevel up. And then I will advance until I feel that pop as well as get some form of a flash return. And a water bottle I made actually gets a flash return. Okay. Then once I see that flash return, I'm going to hold pressure to stop bleeding. I will pop my tourniquet. I will take my IV flush and make sure that I am in a proper site. So I will flush it to make sure that I can, that I'm in the proper place and I didn't blow the needle. And then I will pull back 
see that I get a blood return. I can then take a vial of that and give it to the ER if I wish. Okay, set that aside. Go back, hold pressure. Tape down. If I have tachyderm, use tachyderm. If not, I can wrap Coban. And then I can come over, attach my IV solution, open up my flow rate, make sure that it's at a proper, er, proper flow rate, uh, and then I will observe and watch over my patient for any undesired side effects as well as um, any other changes. Uh, make sure that after I pulled out my IV stylet that I would immediately go and put it in the sharps container. And then I will just evaluate my patient and be done. Thank you.